Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And y'all know what time it is. It's Grammy season, everybody! Yay! It's time for us to get pissed off when the artist that we like doesn't get a Grammy, uh, because the Grammys are all about popularity and politics, not so much about talent and artistic vision. But still, I'm going to go through some of the major categories in the 2017 Grammys and talk about who's eligible, who I think is going to win, and who I would like to win. Let's do it! In the Album of the Year field this year, seems like we have Adele with 25, Beyonce with Lemonade, Purpose, Justin Bieber, Views from Drake, and A Sailor's Guide to Earth from Sturgill Simpson, the left field, totally out of nowhere nomination in this category. Now, as you guys may already know, I have reviewed uh, uh, all the records in this uh, category over here, and uh, though I did like the Adele, and I do think the Sturgill Simpson album is great, I personally am pulling for Beyonce, and I think Beyonce will win, although I will not complain if Sturgill wins, I will not complain if Adele wins, however, I will consider jumping off of a bridge if Bieber or Drake gets it. Record of the year, we have Adele with Hello, Beyonce with Formation, Lucas Graham, Seven Years, Rihanna featuring Drake, Work, and Stressed Out from 21 Pilots. And personally, I'm pulling for Beyonce again on this one. I do love Formation, although I would not complain if Adele's Hello uh, ended up winning this one, because that was a huge song this year. I would argue maybe even a little bigger than Formation. Uh, the Rihanna track is trash E and I do not want to see the song win. The Lucas Graham track is overly sentimental and very cloying. Uh, don't want to have anything to do with that track. And uh, 21 Pilots, Let, let's go to the next category. Now I want to talk about the best new artist field over here, which uh, some people were kind of mad about um, uh, th there being a few snubs in regards to this. There are a lot of new artists every year, or sort of new artists coming up every year, so I can understand some people not being happy about all the nominations here, but uh, we have Kelsey Ballerini, The Chainsmokers, Chance the Rapper, Marin Morris, and Anderson Pack. I think Chance the Rapper is likely to win in this category, or The Chainsmokers, because they have been pretty huge this year in the electronic field. Um, however, I personally am pulling for Anderson Pack. I will not complain if Chance wins, though. In the pop field, we have Best Pop Vocal Album, where I am actually pulling for Adele against Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato, and Sia. And I also think she will end up winning that category, too. The Best Dance Electronic Album field is pretty interesting this year as well, with submissions from Flume for Skin. Uh, we have Jean-Michel Jarre with Electronica 1, The Time Machine, Tycho's Epoch, Underworld's uh, new record, Barbara Barbara, We Face a Shining Future, and Louis Vega's Louis Vega starring uh, the 2028 20, in Roman numerals. Just because I do appreciate him as a figure, and I did like some of the tracks on his new album, I would like to see Jar win it, although if we are going to talk about a contemporary winning this one, I think Flume is, is the way to go, and um, he seems to be the hippest in this whole field here, so I wouldn't be surprised if he walked away with the award. Now we have the best rock performance category over here. Oh, we have Alabama Shakes with Joe, Beyonce with Jack White on Don't Hurt Yourself, David Bowie's Black Star, Disturbed with the Sound of Silence. God, that is an awful cover. How did it get nominated? And then 21 Pilots with Heathens. Personally, pulling for David Bowie, hoping David Bowie wins this one, even though he's not with us, but symbolically it would be fantastic, and that is an amazing song. Black Star to me is the most amazing song in this list, uh, although Beyonce is probably most likely to win it because the Grammys just want to probably give Beyonce all nine of her nominations and just sort of get that image of Beyonce just carrying all the Grammys and the Grammys are just falling out of her arms as she's walking down the red carpet. That's a good photo op for the Grammys, so uh, I'm sure that they want to try to do that or sort of get as close to that image as possible. So uh, again, pulling for David Bowie. Beyonce is likely. Won't complain, though, if she wins because I do uh, not mind that Don't Hurt Yourself with Jack White. Best metal performance, though. Interesting field this year. Uh, we have Baroness, Gojira, Korn, Megadeth, and Periphery all in the same category. Uh, personally, I want Baroness to win. Shock Me, amazing song, and Purple is an amazing album. One of the best metal records of the past couple years. Uh, but very surprised to see Gojira in here. Good for them. First Grammy nomination for them. Uh, Korn, obviously not a huge fan of the Korn record. 
hated that new Megadeth, and uh, Periphery, not really a fan, though, uh, you know, I do appreciate what the band is doing for the most part, and I'm sure their fans are excited. The best rock song field is pretty intriguing as well, as we have David Bowie, Radiohead, James Hetfield, Lars, and, you know, obviously a Metallica for Hardwired. Uh, we have Tyler Joseph, a songwriter, 21 Pilots for Heathens, and we have My Name is Human from the band Highly Suspect. I wouldn't be upset about it going to uh, really a lot of these songwriters. I mean, of course, David Bowie, the Radiohead song would be great because that is a fantastic track. It would be cool to see Radiohead walk away with a Grammy this year. Uh, and also Hardwired. I love that Metallica song off their new record, so uh, no reason not to celebrate that, too. Although the uh, best rock album field, oh boy, uh, starts off with Blink-182. We also have Cage the Elephant in there. Gojira, again, for best rock album, Panic at the Disco, and Weezer with uh, Weezer, aka the White Album. Um, personally, only album I loved in this list was Weezer's White Album. Uh, the Blink-182 album should not even be in this category. Please, just take it out. Um, uh, please. God. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus take, take it, it out. out. The Cage the Elephant record I thought was okay. Gojira, again, good for them. You know, I, I wouldn't mind them grabbing that Grammy. Uh, that would be really fantastic for them. I wasn't a fan of their new record, but it would be really cool to see them get it. And Panic at the Disco is, is basically just... Brendan, Yuri, and Friends at this point, and uh, not not really that fantastic of an album, in my opinion. Uh, pulling for Weezer, I think Weezer might get it, guys. I think Weezer might get it, or the Grammys might play it super safe and super stupid and just throw it to Blink-182. Now we have the best alternative music album over here. Uh, in this field, we have Bon Iver, David Bowie, PJ Harvey, Iggy Pop, and Radiohead. Really nice field, really good picks over here, though there are alternative records I would have liked to have seen instead in here. Uh, maybe a few up-and-comers that I think uh, could have gotten this spot, but still interesting field. Uh, pulling for David Bowie again, though I wouldn't mind Radiohead, I wouldn't mind Iggy Pop. You know, I wasn't crazy about the new PJ Harvey record, but I wouldn't mind to see her walk away with it either. And even Bon Iver, although he has won a Grammy before. Yeah, you know what? I don't want Bon Iver to win this Grammy. Get him out of here! Get this guy out of here! David Bowie is my favorite out of all of them, but I would be happy with a, a great deal of these artists uh, walking away with this one. And again, this might be a year where David Bowie ends up winning a lot of Grammys because of just the fact that he's passed away, he's this legend, his latest record is an incredible contribution to rock music. I guess my one gripe though is that maybe he wasn't so alternative or alternative enough for this category. I mean, it is a strange record, that's a given, but uh, David Bowie is a legend at this point. He's a huge star. I would argue maybe even a little too big for this category, you know what I mean? In the best R&B performance field, I think Rihanna's probably going to take it, although I am personally pulling for Solange. And on the best urban contemporary album, it's either going to go to Beyonce or it's going to go to Rihanna. Although me personally, I am pulling for Anderson Pack and even Gallant walking away with, or Gallant walking away with the, uh, award would not be a bad thing. We move on to best rap performance over here, and we have No Problem with Chance the Rapper and uh, Lil Wayne and 2 Chains. Love that track. Uh, Panda from Designer, of course, one of the biggest songs of the year. Pop Style with Drake featuring The, the Throne. Uh, all the way up with Fat Joe, Remy Ma featuring French Montana and Infrared. Kind of surprised that that song is sort of inserted its way into this. And uh, that part with Schoolboy Q featuring Kanye West. Personally, would love to see No Problem win it. I think Panda definitely has a shot because it was such a huge song this year and the Grammys just love to pass a Grammy over to whatever the most popular thing is, even if it's not even really that great. Uh, pop Style with Drake, God, don't give it to that. It's not even that good of a rap song. Uh, and, and The Throne barely contributed anything to the track. Um, all the way up, uh, not really that crazy about it, and I'm not that nuts about that part, although it would be cool to see Schoolboy Q with a Grammy. Now, this one is interesting. The best rap sung performance. So if you're rapping, but th there, it's, it's also sung. There's also sunging in the song. <laughs> um, Beyonce, Freedom with Kendrick Lamar. Pretty great track. I would be happy to see uh, that track take it. Hotline Bling, though, featuring, uh, uh, you know, ya boy, ya boy Drake. Love that song. Uh, Broccoli with Dram featuring Little Yachty. Love that track, too. Ultralight Beam. I like that track. It's one of the better cuts off of the life of Pablo. And then Famous with Kanye West featuring Rihanna. So, uh, basically, 
two two Kanye West tracks in this one uh, uh, category. Kind of surprising, but whatever. Um, and I actually uh, wouldn't mind seeing any of these songs take it. I think they're all great songs, although if I had to pick one... Ah, I love that Dram song. Love that Dram song so much. It's so stupidly good. I, I would, I'm pulling for that Dram track, although I think it, Kanye or Beyonce is probably going to take it, or Drake. It's, it's really more likely it's going to be one of those three, especially since Kanye is nominated twice. Huh? A lot of these same songs are also nominated in the best rap song category, so even if you don't win the best rap performance, you could still win that best rap song. And as far as best rap album, we have Coloring Book from Chance the Rapper, the new De La Soul record, Major Key from DJ Khaled, Drake's Views, Schoolboy's Blank Face LP, crazy that that got nominated, really good, and then also uh, Kanye West's The Life of Pablo. Now, let, let's scratch off views get it out of here it's not even that much of a rap record it's not even a good album stop pretending it's good grammys stop, stop it. it i wasn't crazy about blank face but i wouldn't mind see seeing blank face take it kanye west could take it um although i think it is one of his most odd and difficult to digest records so it might be hard to sort of um, celebrate that album with a Grammy. Uh, I think a, a much more accessible record like Chance the Rapper's Coloring Book will be more likely to take it. Uh, the De La Soul nomination is a good nod. It's nice that it's symbolic and they're referencing the, the, the fact that they are this classic, very seminal, very important group, but I don't think they're likely to take it. Uh, DJ Khaled could take it, although I think, um, you know, lyrically and instrumentally, there are superior albums here. As far as the best country album category, I'm pulling for Sturgill Simpson. That is a great record, though I would not be surprised to see Keith Urban take it. And I also want to congratulate my dude Mitch Grassi on their Pentatonics nomination in the Best Country Duo Group Performance category. Yay! And those are basically all the categories that I wanted to address in this video, that I wanted to sort of tell you guys who I'm pulling for and uh, guess who I think will most likely win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and feel free to have an argument about these dumb old Grammys down in the comments. Tra 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 tran. Zition. And those are my 2017 Grammy picks, everybody. I know there are more categories, uh, some of which have artists in them that I am well aware of, as are you. Uh, but I didn't want to go through every single category. I just wanted to touch down on the major ones. I'm sure you guys appreciate that. And if you are familiar with my reviews and my preferences, you probably know who I'm pulling for in those particular categories anyway. So, uh, yeah, again, let me know what you think about all these nominations down in the comments. Who got snubbed and who do you think is going to win? And uh, all sorts of other videos next to my head that you should check out. And uh, subscribe to the channel, official website as well. And that's it forever.